I'm Chris Ryan Phil Kelly. Um, and do you want one of these three trucks? We have a brand new 2016 Hash Truck and Dragster, Men in Box, awesome truck. We have a brand new Men in Box, 1990 Hess Tanker truck. And we also have a brand new Men in Box, 1994 Hess Rescue truck. These trucks are great. They all come with the boxes. Um, awesome trucks. All of them brand new in box. So if you want one of these three trucks, go down below in the links in the description to the auction and you can buy which one or which ones you want. And yeah, enjoy the video. And hello again everybody, I'm Chris Ryan from Pelly, and today I'm going to be doing a hash truck review outside, um, this time in a different place, it's in my driveway, um, so, yeah, um, first I would like to say a couple things, number one, um, Waterbot uploaded a video, uh, which is a Q&A, uh, uh, like a question and answer thing about his channel, so I'm gonna put the link in the description, please go watch that video, uh, cause he wants people to ask him questions, and yeah, and also, another person I subscribe to, his name is Love Love Ryan, link in the description. Um, his birthday is today, so happy birthday, Love Love Ryan. And yeah, so um, after a couple weeks, I didn't do a YouTube video because I've had a lot going on. The coronavirus has affected, well, not really affected our town yet, um, knock on wood, but it's, uh, it's going to be alright. Uh, so... Uh, I was just thinking about this the other day, uh, talking about the coronavirus. Um, Hess, as you know, so they are in the production making of probably the 2023 Hess trucks um, because they are about two to three years ahead. So, like, the 2019 is already packaged and everything, but due to the coronavirus, I'm not sure if they're actually going to uh, mail the trucks out on time or if they're actually gonna, um, you know, like, put them out for sale online because of this bad virus. I mean, it will get worse before it gets better. And sure, that's November 1st, but people and scientists are all saying that the coronavirus will come back in the fall since there probably won't be a um, medication yet for it. So that's just other news. Um, I am starting a new series on my channel. It will be the CRF Sports Series. So you will see videos of me playing both my sports, baseball and basketball, due to the coronavirus, unfortunately. My baseball season has been postponed so far. So um, until further notice, I won't be playing baseball. So it's, I put it on my CRF News tab in my website. So instead of one to two months you're going to see this video, you're probably going to uh, see the series starting in about three to four months due to the coronavirus. So, yeah. I think that's all the news for now. So let's get to it. So here is the 2011 Hesh Truck and Race Car. Um, so pretty cool truck. On the top of the box you have Hess Toy Truck and Race Car, Energizer Batteries, real lights, multiple sound features, um, an operating ramp. And then you have the back of the truck. You have the side of the truck right there, the front of the truck, the other side. And then on the bottom, you have the battery installation features, the uh, sound and horn stuff. So yeah. I forgot to mention, if you subscribe to me, uh, uh, I will give you a shout out in my next video, um, and yeah. Oh, and I need 175 subscribers to do another video on every single hush truck I have, and I am 10 away. So, let's open the truck up. Jesus, packed in here. 
wonder who did that. Totally not me. Okay. Let's go. Alright. So here is your 2011 Hash Truck and Race Club. So, um, it's really nice. You have the race car. I'm going to start off with the race car first. So the race car is, this was like the first race car I believe it has to ever have sounds on it. So really cool. And the sounds is like it in racing motion. The lights also flash during it. Uh, during the sound. Uh, I'm not really sure what kind of batteries. I think it's two AA batteries or two AAA batteries. Not completely sure because I haven't changed them in a while. And then there are lights on this, but you can't really see them during the day. Uh, it is pulled back just like the 2016 Hess Truck and Dragster. So, or the Dragster. So that is pulled back. Uh, you have the 2011 license plate on back. Um, and yeah, this is like supposed to represent like a real like NASCAR race car while the dragster is supposed to represent a dragster. Um, so they are two completely different things. So yeah, and then there's a lot of chrome on it. Really cool. Oh, and for I think this was the first time Hess has ever used the Hess Express decal on one of their trucks. Um, and I think that's the only, de yeah, that's the only decal on the race car and that's the only time Hess has ever used that. So really cool. Now on to the truck. So the truck has um, four sounds. We're going to start off with the startup. Once again, you can't really see the lights because of the light out. The horn. This was a different horn uh, than any other truck. So like the 2007 truck the uh the other trucks out there this is a completely different horn and then the backup and then just the flashing lights so three sounds my mistake and the flashing lights um then you have the hydraulic when you pull down the ramp and then pull it back up you have the tire uh, places where you put the car. Then you have Hess right here, cool texture. And then this truck, this truck you can do like you could drop it and it'll and it'll bounce right back up because it's like the wheels are so absorbent. There's springs in it. As you could see, if you could see in here, those are um, those are painted in springs. But inside of those are actually real springs, which make the wheels do this. So don't be afraid if your kid drops it. Completely okay because it'll just bounce right back up. These wheels, other than the 2007 truck, um, these wheels are probably one of the biggest. And except for last year's, the 2019, where th that was just like a monster. Um, so this is different than the 2019 because if you drop it, it'll bounce right back up. While the 2019, if you just drop it, it just stops because it's that heavy and it's that absorbent. So then you have the uh, switch down here. You have off, uh, all lights, and then the flashers. So you can't really see the lights right now, but they're on. And then the flashers. So overall, really nice truck. Um, has 2011 license plate on the back, and then the front, huge body in front. This is just another monster truck that has made. Um, the I think, in my opinion, the three biggest trucks that Hess has ever made is number one, the 2007, because that is actually called a monster truck. Number two. Is probably the 2019 because that thing's a beast and then number three the 2011 uh, there's other ones pretty close to it but 
I think those are the top three biggest trucks uh, that Hess has ever made, and they are they are big. Um, so yeah, comment down below on what you think the biggest uh, three Hess trucks are, and yeah. Also comment down below for video suggestions because guys, I tell you, I am running out of ideas. I need more suggestions soon. Um, and thank you to everybody that's been sending me video suggestions. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.